Hey everybody, it's Toast Bros and today's Friday. We are going to the local GameStop to get Fire Emblem Engage. Fire Emblem Engage, I've been kind of looking forward to it. Actually, you know what, let's just get in and we'll talk about it. Damn, but the mall's pretty, the mall's pretty empty. Remember the last time I came here, it was like a year ago or something, man. Um, my eyes look kind of weird, it's because it's kind of a bit, like, it's, it's something I'm looking forward to, but it's not like too hype where I can't sleep. I just kind of, um, uh, want to be one of the first ones here hoping to pick up the Martha and Corrin amiibo if they have it uh, I already got separate yesterday yeah it's kind of interesting see if I'm one of the first people see if I can get another uh, interview or something looks like I'm a bit too early you want to say anything about yourself uh, I'm Zach, I've been playing Fire Emblem since the Game Boy Advance days. And I'm so like Sacred Stones or like the actual one? The, the one that was just called Fire Emblem. Oh, that's I think cool. it's called like Blazing Blade in Japan or something yeah. like that. Um, yeah. It's like, who are these characters in Smash Bros? And then that yeah. came out and I'm like, well, gotta find out. And it was good, I've been in love with the series ever since. Though. What do you expect from this one then? Like, you haven't played the other ones after? Uh, oh, I've played, I've played almost all of them. This one, from what I hear, um, I expect really nice strategy, really nice combat. Not sure if the story will be able to be as good as Three Houses. That was a little, a little above notch for Modern Fire Emblem, but uh, I'm just happy to get into the strategy again. Play a nice strategy game. And that's what I, heard. I heard it's like a celebration of like the whole Fire Emblem games. So. Yep. It's supposed to be a lot of the old boards and stuff. Some of the ones that only came out in Japan too, so that's going to be kind of cool to see them. That's so good. Uh, I think they're going to make a remake of the, the SNES. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, there's one that's called like, it's got a really complicated name, it's like Genealogy of the Holy War, yeah. um, but it's supposed to be like the Game of Thrones of Fire Emblem, yeah. you know, before they screwed up, so if that ever comes <laughs> out, oh, you know I'll be there. <laughs> Is there anything you want to plug into? I mean, it's a small channel, but anything like any social media or like any... Uh, no, I'm pretty much not really active on social media, but, uh, you know, y'all keep doing what you're doing. I wish y'all the best of luck. Thanks for the, thanks for the interview, man. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. Cool. Appreciate you going, man. Take it easy. Thank you. Come on, how's it going? Check it out. Well, shout out to again to that guy for, uh, you know, giving his uh, thoughts on the game again. Um... Hopefully the video comes out soon so I can see it. Or if he doesn't, it's whatever. Um, there's also these cards that I got. Part of me just want to open them, but just for the unboxing, I probably would. Um, it's too bad they didn't have any more their core in Amiibos. So I'm going to snoop around and see if there's any one of them. If any of them are near the area. If there is, I might pick one up. Who knows? There weren't any Amiibos in Best Buy. Couldn't find any. Hopefully they'll restock them like like maybe the next few weeks i feel like they'll kind of do it like the zelda and loftwing one where it's like everywhere now hopefully other than that uh I, I don't know if i mentioned this earlier in the video but i basically avoided any and all spoilers or like any plot trailers for uh engage so you know that'll make things more surprising this is actually a uh, post production uh kind of thing i just kind of came to my mind before i wanted to edit all right welcome back the actual unboxing i got well not really the toast bros knife but i got the butter knife i think it's called it's so sorry but you know i could pretend i'm the spy from tf2 it could be you it could be me it could even be anyway without further ado let's unbox this game no i'm not really gonna do the unboxing speed run like i always did but um just give me stab myself okay so all we need is one poke. So yeah, this is a, I don't know, I was kind of interested. At first I thought I was like, ah, oh, you know, this is like fan pandering. They're trying to like get like the fans or whatever. Cause like, you know, you already had heroes. You already had like, you know, all these, like you had Awakening, which made sense cause they plan on being last game. But yeah, like basically it's like, yeah, you know how much, cause like for me, one thing I, I, I kind of dislike about Kirby, which I love Kirby, but the thing I dislike about Kirby is like the fact that like, it feels like every game after dreamland or return to dreamland is like pandering to basically the older game so yeah now we have the plastic cover out this is the back of the game let's see it's kind of hard to see yeah. pretty cool shows the divine dragon and uh grima i think i, mean, I think it's this game is grima honestly uh the fire Emblem games 
The only ones I've ever really played were I'm going from chronolo no, chronological order. Path of Radiance from the GameCube, uh, kind of a bit of the DS remake, but I played the shit out of Awakening, Fates, all three routes. Uh, Echoes, I plan on replaying one day again and played the shit out of three houses. The moment I beat it, I started up a new save file. It was that good and I really hope I get the same amount of enjoyment out of this one. Okay, so with that out of the way. Army really doesn't want to open this because it just looks so nice now. I don't say don't let's do it with the cards, but uh, I guess just to look at it. Uh, I guess we'll open it. <laughs> I almost managed to pry it open. This part, it's like, this is like so poorly constructed. It's like you're about to rip this part open, which I'm being careful not to. I want to keep this in good condition. Uh, let's take a look at the box. I think it's basically the same thing as the box cover. It's still really cool. Let's see what the cards are inside. Jeez, dude, this thing's like stuck. Dude, what is this so freaking hard? Dude, this is so annoying. Just give me, give me a card. Give me a card, come on. Okay, just keep doing it. Uh, okay, there we go. Sheesh, dude. Okay, it looks like it's empty. All right, sheesh. Oh, wow. Wow, that's cool. All right, so it's not the ending bar or whatever the thing was called in Awakening. Um, basically, it's just a card list. Just like how every ordinary thing. It's kind of cool, actually. I should probably show more of this. Yeah, it kind of shows like little descriptions, which is kind of cool. But each card, man, that's really cool. So this is Corin, I assume. <gasps> Corin. The backside all just kind of like this whole thing. Oh, that's very cool, though. I like that. It's my boy Byleth. I love Byleth so much. I know. Uh, geez, what is this? Marth? This looks like Marth. Yeah, it looks like he's taking off his crown. I don't know why the... Actually, are all the bottom ones like that? Oh, that's cool. The bottom one shows, like, the female counterpart, I guess. Oh, no, I might be wrong. All right, what is this? Uh, honestly, that's cool. the art for this. I'm a fire emblem noob. I haven't played the the best ones, I guess. Who, is he, who are these? Cell is this Celtic? <laughs> PM1's kid. Okay, this is Roy. <sighs> no, this is Roy. Oh, that's probably Leaf. This is Lindus. Lindus. I can play like a game of cards with these. Uh, this looks like Alincia. Oh no, it's probably Erica. This is like, definitely like, this father's axe. This is Micaiah. And this is Lucina, I think. Alright, that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, I don't know if the DLC came out along with it or not during launch, but yeah. Very cool. I might, I might just put them in the box, to be honest. All right, there's still more to unbox, so pretty much that's it for this final engage book. But there's uh, two things. Um, I have Super Mario 3D Land I got from GameStop. Um, just collecting the 3DS games before the shop shuts down. I wish it doesn't. I didn't have to shut shut down. Um, hopefully, a video coming up on the shit I bought. Um, and then we got Sepiros. The amiibo. So let's open it. Um, geez. So I need one of those things where, um, like your phone just kind of like those phone holder necklace things to make things like a lot easier for unboxing. Um, yeah, I would have done a lot more to be honest, but I have to go to work and then after work, I gotta do my college homework, which is very fun. Definitely not, you know. Anyway, Ugh, come on, dude, I've been having trouble opening stuff recently, what the heck, there we go, what a cool boss, dude, what a dope ass figure, wow, that one wing, that's very cool, sword longer than a Monday, little hair, ah, dude, that's so cool, that's it for the unboxing, um, I kind of wish they also did a cloud again like they re-released cloud but yeah dude it's so uh, for, funny enough the face isn't that derpy i don't know if it can focus but anyway kind of kind of has everything all the bells and whistles for Sephiroth. um it's like yeah it's to get the the shirtless uh all thing for Sephiroth amiibo i'll bet yeah that's pretty much it for uh the unboxing so hopefully it's a good game um more story focused which i have no complaints there 
um yeah and hope it's like one of those games where you just uh, kind of come back more to it. other than that uh hopefully it's a good game i keep saying that over again and i'll see you guys then